Four years ago, I had a dream of finding six of my favorite full odds, one in 8,192 shinies in my favorite generation of all time, Gen 4. After tens of thousands of encounters, adding three extra copies of the game, and many different life changes, we find ourselves here. The very last member of my first ever dream team Let's do this. Well, it's certainly hard to follow up my last shiny hunt. Riolu will most likely be my longest hunt I ever do in terms of hours, with an estimated 416 total hours spent biking to get up to 13,238 hatches. Compared to that hunt, this one is actually a bit of a cakewalk. My target for the last and final member of the Dream Team is a legendary Pokemon, Uxie. There's a bunch of reasons why I chose to hunt Uxie, but that's getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. We can't even start the hunt until we play through the story a little bit more. So let's pick up where we left off last episode. After hatching Gunner and evolving him with steps, I decided to do some old fashioned EV training. First, I battled Sinnoh's favorite philanthropists I love the young people. until I was able to buy a bunch of protein and carbos. And then I started grinding on Shanks and Starly on Route 202. It started off slow, but once I got Force Palm at level 11, things sped up very quickly. I battled over a hundred of these low-level mons until I felt Gunner was a high enough level to start taking on some baddies later on in the game. I made my way over to Lake Valor to take on Saturn, and then continued on to Lake Verity to beat Mars and her goons to save Lucas and Professor Rowan. The distinguished professor then laments how us kids went up against full-fledged criminals, and not being harmed was even a reason to celebrate. He then goes on to passive-aggressively tell us to continue fighting the crime syndicate by wondering aloud, Hmm, I wonder how Dingus is doing at Lake Acuity. Instead of, you know, calling the police? Alright, alright, Rowan, I get the hint. So I flew to Celestic Town and entered Mount Coronet to get up to Route 216. I trudged up through the snow, making sure to pick up rock climb along the way. Even though this is an urgent, super-duper serious Nature death. situation, we feel that it's better to not go to the lake and instead take on the gym leader who must not be named. Gunner had a bit of a field day and we got the badge easily. Then we made our way over to Lake Acuity, which actually houses the target for our hunt. Okay, fine. You've been patient. I'll give you a reason why I wanted to hunt Uxie. In the first five minutes of the game, we're taken to the lake and hear its captivating theme. I promise you that back in 2007, I had an old flip phone that had a very similar sounding ringtone to the lake theme, and I was bumping that every chance I got. Not for text though, because those used to cost money, can you even believe that? My very first time going to the lake, I could see the water, but I couldn't quite see what was in the middle. The game strongly hints that there might be special Pokemon in the middle of the lake, so I spent my entire first playthrough thinking about exploring the lakes once I was able to. Basically, these three lakes live rent-free in my head, and Uxie's connection to these lakes is a huge reason why I wanted to hunt it. Alright, back to the playthrough. We find that for some strange reason, by the time we finally reach the lake, our rival's already been bested by Jupiter. He does mention that Uxie was suffering. Now with that, we just cannot abide. We swoop down on Balestone City and bust down the front door of Team Galactic's headquarters. I mean, we get the key from this guy and then sneak in the back through the warehouse. But once we grab the key inside, then we bust down the front door. Once we're inside, we're able to find Cyrus, who has this villainous plot to summon Dialga, the temporal Pokemon, by capturing and torturing the Lake Guardians to create the Red Chain. We whoop them hard. And then he gives us this worthless purple Pokeball or something. He then tells us we can set the Guardians free if we want, since he already got what he needed from them. Cyrus, you sadistic 27-year-old son of a b- Anywho, we take the portal and we finally get to see our target in the flesh. But Uxie is looking a little bit worse for wear. And even though Cyrus said that we could set them free, Saturn feels bad that we whooped her last time, so she challenges us to another duel. Good. 
twice the pride, double the fall. We set Uxie free, but it still has a part to play in the story, so we can't hunt it just yet. We now have to enter Mount Cornet from the Route 207 side, and climb to the top using Rock Climb. There are so many battles, it's not even funny. When we finally reach Spear Pillar, guess what's waiting for us? If you guessed even more battles, then you're definitely right. Before we're able to stop him, Cyrus calls upon the Red Chain and Dialga appears out of a temporal rift. Mars and Jupiter stand in our way, but Dingus went through a surprisingly quick character arc since he lost at Lake Acuity in the past couple minutes, and we team up with him to take them on. After we beat them, instead of helping us with Cyrus and Dialga, Dingus heals our Pokemon and runs away. Thanks, I guess. While Cyrus is monologuing, who should appear but Uxie, cosplaying as Gigantamax Pikachu. P Uxie and the other two Lake Guardians are able to subdue Dialga, which makes Cyrus a very upset little 27-year-old, and he challenges us to a fight. Say all you want about Cyrus, though, his theme is a certified banger.
It was a grueling fight, but I was able to take him down. After the fight, not really sure what Cyrus is talking about here, but I think he left to go play Minecraft or something. Alright, biggest fight of my life right here. I think I'm ready. Not shiny, darn it. Whew, glad that's over. Man, what a fight. Man, that was incredible. It took a lot out of me, to be honest. That that's that's why you play the game right there. That is why you play the game. Moments like that. That Dialga fight was just so intense. Well, that's it. Ooxie is finally huntable. I just had to reach Acuity Cavern in the middle of the lake to start my hunt. And of course, we're hopping on our most unlikely heroes back. Rampardos. The rock dinosaur no surf. Because reasons. And with that, over 11 minutes into the video, we see my first encounters coming in on May 21st, 2024. My hunting got off to a really fast start. Each Ooxie reset is around 30 seconds long, which means with four games, I was able to hit around 480 Ooxie seen an hour. In other words, this hunt is 12 times faster than Riley's Riolu. After almost three months straight of hunting Riolu, it was really weird to have a hunt go this fast, but I was happy to see the numbers go up so rapidly. I was able to get to half odds just two days after the hunt started, However, on the same day I hit half odds, I boarded a plane to visit family and friends on the East Coast for a little over two weeks. It was an absolute blast being home, and it all culminated in my cousin's bachelor party in Virginia. This is all I'll show of the bachelor party. Take from it what you will. Anyway, I headed back home to San Diego on June 10th, meaning I was away from both my bed and the hunt for 19 days. Way more than I usually like to be away from home, especially so soon after my two week Europe trip, but it was still an amazing trip since I was hanging with friends and family the entire time. Almost the entire time away, I was fiending to hunt since I knew I was so close to finishing my first ever dream team. The result was a few days of intense grinding. This had me standing in the odds just a day after I returned home. Standing in the odds. On Wednesday, I hopped on some calls to pass the time while hunting. During the first call, I passed 10,000 encounters. 10,000 Uxie. About one one hundredth the time of getting a thousand in for real. <laughs> On the second call, I was actually streaming on my Twitch channel for once in my life with my good friend Tails of Taylor. I just went, oh my god! <laughs> like, it, it was so unexpected. God, we're gonna find you, so many shinies this year. Because it's like one extra day, there's like double the amount of people and double the yep. amount of systems, and... Yep. I wanna find, I mean, I found two last time, I would love to find two again. That would be that. I would be set if I just found two. Um, I want to so. catch at least one. I mean, last time yeah, it was if I, just the if barrel. I found <laughs> two, if I found two and caught and caught one, I'd be super happy. That's what happened. I caught the Avra. So. No, you don't, Silver Barber. You don't know. Don't say that. <laughs> Excuse me. Quite rude of you, by the way, to catch that Avra. Oh man, Matt, I know it right Matt in front of Matt's chances. All four of them. Yep. Shiny Oxy! Shiny Oxy! No <laughs> way! What? And it's on the original Dream Team file. And it's on the original Dream Team file, you hear that? Oh, baby! Oh my gosh! That looks so sick! Gotta see this. It is the best shiny of the Lake, lake Trio. Oh, that looks amazing! Wow. 
huge. Wow. Oh man, in front of in front of Lucario. That's crazy <sighs> to see. That's so cool to see with the Lucario there. Oh man. I knew it was coming soon. I know this that Oxy wouldn't like be too terrible to me. Had to get to at least yeah. five digits and it's like, alright, I'll show up. I'll, for this guy, yeah. for this guy, I'll show up. Right so four eleven K, not bad. So here's the deal. I do have a master ball on this file, but I will not be using the master ball on this file. So I I want kinda like the Safari experience. Like this hunt. This hunt was just too easy compared to Rio Loop, right? And like just finding it like this, hunting four times and really not that long comparatively of hunting, I'm like, I want it to be a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a fight, a battle, and not not a sure thing. Here's the deal. Um, this team is actually not super high leveled, but it is pretty well equipped to fight Uxie because we have Honchcrow and Honchcrow at, Oxy only has Future Sight and Confusion as dam damaging moves, so uh, Honchgrow will be able to nullify that for sure. So here's here's my plan. Okay. I think there's like a two and a half percent chance to catch in a quick ball first turn. Oh no way! Oh yes, yes, yes. So here we <laughs> go. This. Oh, you got it! You got it! It's it's going in. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. One, two, three. <laughs> no way, no way. It did not catch. <laughs> no, oh man, it's delayed for me. Oh, you had me going. You had me going. All right. Oh, but you got to see those sparkles again. I oh, know, the sparkles Lanta. is so nice. Oh All right. man. Oh, she, oh wow. She's so bored of this. She just yeah. yawned. Yawned. She doesn't wow. even care. I can't believe she three shake faked. Yeah, yeah, I know. I thought it was going to happen. Me too. I was a believer. And then I saw her face. So I'm gonna force palm and try to paralyze. Like that's that's gonna be the plan. And also I should be t keeping track of uh, moves. Like probably yeah. maybe. Okay. Right. Yawning again. This does like nothing. Yeah. That's nothing. okay. All right. You don't want to do too much. That's a that's a decent amount of damage. I'm gonna try to full heal, I guess. Like getting the um, getting the paralysis off will help in the long run for this long battle. This does a lot of damage. So now, what ball do you think you're gonna catch in? Like a dusk ball? Or dusk something? or ultra? I think. Okay, good. I like the dusk choice. I think it'd be cool for this mysterious legendary Pokemon to pop out of like the the shadows of the dusk ball. Give me the para. Uh, don't confusion. All right, that's fine. Nice, Gives me an extra nice. Turn. I can only do this so many times though, so I'm really yeah, hoping. Yeah, killer. For... Yeah, knock our. Oh, I mean, <clears throat> uh, no, you're doing great. Amnesia. All right, that helps. Okay. Or it doesn't hurt. I should say. Right. Right. All right, Future Sight's gonna knock me out if it hits, but this could be the paralysis that I need. Gunner, no. All right, we're going with Ren the Apom. Okay. And we're gonna revive. Please tell me I oh, have. Oh, Ambi Palm. Or Amber Palm, yeah, not E Palm. What am I talking oh, about? Oh, that looks good. That looks really good. I like that pink. I love it too. Alright. At this point, I'm gonna wait until it knocks the Amber Palm out and then just start chucking balls. Or. Okay. Chuck balls until then and then go for a couple more Force Palms. Wait, chuck, chuck who? Chuck Testa. Oh, that's okay. That's why. Uh, that's why I thought you said. One, two, three. 
Uh, you lean back. I heard your chair creak, but I can't see what happened. I see the third shake. Christina, thanks for oh, the follow. No I threw two balls at this. I thought this would be a tough capture. What the heck is going on? This thing has an insanely low catch rate. Does it really? Oh, that's bonkers. The Let's being see. of knowledge. Well, it's the being of knowledge. It knew that your quest was over. It was like, I'm going to make this easy for you. Wow. It's going to wipe out my memory. Men in black style. Oh, no. Oh, that's a good way to end this. And then you go into your Pearl Dream Team. Yes. <laughs> I just wake up about, like, what? You forgot all about your diamond. <laughs> <laughs> what should I? Mm. Do you have any? Oh, what were we talking about? Um, Hamburgers, probably. I don't know. Whenever I look at Uxie, I just think hamburger. But don't name her a hamburger. Don't do that. That's not something I think you should do. But what were we talking? We were talking. Oh, we were talking about the IRL with um, with with um Matt finding the chances. You said yeah, you right in front of his chances, and then it popped up. <laughs> Four. Oh. Chance. Four chance. What about per chance? I don't think you can just say per chance. I, oh, I know, I know, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said it, I'm sorry. So, for those who don't know, at the <laughs> Safari Week 2023 Austin edition, Wait. Hasselblog's Pokemon had just found four chances. Somebody on my uh, Safari, not Safari, uh, Oh yeah, they asked why, yeah, it's not what, a what chancy. Is who I am? What? Quad chancy. No, is that 4%? Shiny Abra! Oh! Dude, you know what I just realized? While talking about the four chances bringing them up again, you got another psychic Pokemon with its eyes closed. Boom. Like, and I got Abra, Boom. a shiny psychic Pokemon with its eyes closed. That's weird. We live <laughs> in a simulation. Wowzers. They're going to have to delete our memory, honestly. I think they're just going to have to. Thank you, everybody, for the congrats. Oh, man. Un unbelievable. <laughs> On the file, dude. On, the, On file. the file. This is it. This is the dream team right here. No trades needed. Wow. How des how so well deserved. That's it? That's the whole full team? That's the full team. Oh, Let's my All right. Lisa. I guess first off, nature guesses. Nature guesses. Everybody. Oh, everybody drop your nature guesses. What do you guys think the Ooxie is? I'm going to guess hasty. I'm going to guess naive. So here we have Gunner, the shiny, brave, Riley's Riolu, all grown up. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous to see. Ren, the Ambipom, who's adamant, which is pretty sick. That's a great, yeah, that's a great nature. We've got Cranberry, the Rampardos, who's quirky. I guessed that nature, by the way. Wow, Ambipom looks great. Delivery. Rampart oh, man. The relaxed Drift Blim. Uh, one of the greatest shinies ever made, honestly. So good. One of the best shinies I think, am, like ever made. And Polly. <laughs> oh, hey, Polly. Hey, hey Gabagoo. Okay. This is the OG. Done, Polly. Hey. The OG. It was serious. And finally, we have four oh, chance. Baby. The four shiny chance. Uxie. I guess naive. You guess hasty. That's right. It is. What do we got? Careful. 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 All right. Four chance is out first. So the final oh, man. I have completed my diamond dream team, which I started in the year 2020. Oh, my land. It is done June 12th, 2024. Of course, we're going to beat the elite four and I'm going to do a little wow. special post game, like extra little epilogue type deal where i'm gonna hunt a couple more but the six team's years done. ago that's oh, crazy i know i can't believe it's already been 10 years um, wow 12 but years ago here we go regular old psyduck in the dusk for chance the shiny Uxie. Yeah! Oh, wow. oh my gosh. Look at that comb back hair. Oh, gorgeous. It's kind of got like a butt head. Yeah! I like it. It looks like it's got a Kabuto on its head. 
It does, yeah. That's such a good yellow. That's it's, the best shiny. That is the best shiny of the Lake Trio. I wholeheartedly agree. Poor, poor Matt's four chances just keeps on getting uh, <laughs> outshone. Getting booted, yeah. <laughs> Which, like, yeah, I mean that's cool, but check this. Check out these shinies. This journey of nearly four years might look like it's at its close, but we're not done quite yet. Sure, I completed my dream team, but I still want to take on the Elite Four with them. And I want to do two victory lap hunts in the post game, and that's where I'm going to need your help. If you've made it this far in the series, I cannot express my gratitude enough. Thank you so much for all the support and encouragement that you've given me. It's motivated me not only to stick with my hunts, but also improve the quality of my videos every single time. And because of that, I want you to decide the two Pokemon that I hunt in the post game. I want to do one hunt in a post game area and one legendary hunt. So choose a category and choose a Pokemon inside that category and tell me why you think I should hunt it. One notable and hopefully understandable exclusion is Manaphy. I do not own a copy of Pokemon Ranger and I do not plan on spending hundreds of dollars on purchasing copies of Pokemon Ranger and playing through the entire game. You know the whole song and dance. That's the only one I won't be doing. Everything else is on the table. A week from this video's release, I will take the top comment from each category and I will hunt for those two Pokemon. I'm going to compile all the episodes from this Dream Team Quest series into one big full series movie with the Elite Four and post-game hunts that you chose as the never-before-seen bonus content at the end. I can't thank you all enough for all your support, and I can't wait to end the series off with a bang. Thank you so, so much, and I will see you in the next one.